Hello, my dear friends of the world, Paul the Trombonist here. In this video, we are going to find out who the top five richest musicians alive are. No banana, not him, although if that company was on this list, they would be 100 times more wealthy than the number one richest musician on this list. So stay tuned to find out who that is. Number five, coming in at number five is Sean Combe Diddy. Sean Puffy Combs is determination and hustle. Many people are quite aware of his success, but not too many clear on how he achieved it. He first started as an intern at Uptown Records, and after a brief education in the music industry, he launched his own Bad Boy Records in 1993. His own music has received Grammys and charted at number one, but he made the majority of his money by signing many other artists that have gone platinum, such as Notorious B.I.G., Mace, Carl Thomas, Mary J. Blige, and even Usher. He took the success of what he made from music and he also went to fashion and created a clothing brand, Sean John, in 1999. This was a very wise business move that branded off to fashion for men, women, kids, perfume, and accessories. These clothes are virtually in every department store all over the world and revenues have exceeded 500 million annually. He then bought urban sportswear brand Insy. This man is a business genius. He has made very wise decisions with some of the companies that he has created or purchased, and some of the companies that he has purchased are Blue Flame, Marketing Agency, Surrock Vodka, Revolt TV, Daily On, Tequila, and even Aqua Hydrate Water. You see, nothing seems to stop this man when it comes to success. Which brings his net worth at a cool $700 million. Coming in at number four is the mega producer, rapper, and businessman, Dr. Dre. Becoming a rap superstar in the 1980s is a very influential ingredient in creating that West Coast rap sound with the band N.W.A. He later started his own label and launched the careers of superstars Snoop Dogg, Eminem, 50 Cent, and Kendrick Lamar. As you know, all these guys are very successful in their own right and Dr. Dre is getting a percentage of the money made off the music that was released under his label. In 2011, do we say 2011 or 2011? In 2011, Dr. Dre reportedly sold 50% of his stake in the headphone company Beats to a Taiwanese smartphone maker, HTC, for 310 million. Okay, this deal added 135 million to his fortune and then Beats Audio was purchased by Apple in 2014 for $3 billion, boosting his net worth to 810 million. It's very possible that Dr. Dre will be hip hop's first billionaire. Number three, coming in at number three is Herb Alpert. Now, I personally have a lot of respect for this next musician as he is a trumpet player and fellow brass musician. And the fact that he was able to make this list is really inspiring to all the instrumental musicians out there. He's known for a group he created called the Tijuana Brass, and he is also a recording industry executive. He's actually the A of a and Records that he founded with Jerry Moss and eventually sold to Polygram. He has had five number one albums in 28 total on the Billboard charts. He's won nine Grammys, 14 platinum albums and 15 gold albums, selling 72 million records worldwide. He's the only artist to hit number one on the pop charts as a vocalist and an instrumentalist as well. One of the admirable qualities of Herb Alpert is the Herb Alpert Foundation and has done so much for music education. I love his jazz club in Bel Air called Vibrato. I performed there. It's one of the classiest places I've ever performed at. His foundation recently made a $10 million donation to Los Angeles City College that will provide all music majors at the school with a tuition-free education beginning fall of 2017. This was the largest gift to any individual college in the history of California and the second largest gift in the history of the state. His net worth is 850 million. Coming in at number two is Andrew Lloyd Webber. Andrew Lloyd Webber is an English composer of musical theater and all of you know his work. He has received his fortune by the composition of 13 musicals. The Phantom of the Opera, 
Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dream Code, Avida, and Cats. Many of the songs from those musicals have become hits outside of the musical by being recorded by some of the industry's greatest musicians. He's won four Grammys, a Golden Globe, four Olivier Awards, and seven Tonys. His company is regarded as one of the largest theater operators in the UK. He's an amazing writer and composer. Andrew Lloyd Webber's net worth is one. Point two billion dollars. That's one billion two hundred million. Number one, our number one richest musician alive is Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney gained worldwide fame with the Beatles, as all of you know, largely considered the most popular and influential group in history. He has written or co-written 32 titles, which reached number one in the Billboard Hot 100, has 60 gold discs to his name, and has totaled over 100 million albums and 100 million single sales over the years. Guinness World Record hails him as the most successful composer and recording artist of all time. His song Yesterday is the most covered song in world history with thousands of recording artists that have recorded it. Paul McCartney is said to have only made around $5 million during his time with the Beatles, but now he currently makes around 50 plus million from his music sales each year. And also he sells out every performance by the way he books. And those are not just at your local tavern. Those are like, it's stadiums, the largest venues in the world. His net worth is $1,240,000,000. dollars so this is Paul the Trombonist. Thanks for watching. This is a music channel for people that love music. If you enjoy this content and want more, I upload new videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays and be sure to click that little bell to get notified. I have a new album out that charted on Amazon bestseller list. It's called Journey to the World. It charted on the jazz and electronic categories and the links in the description. I would like to thank all the Patreons for helping support these videos. Their names are right here. They're awesome. I often get questions about what gear I'm using, so I decided to put the equipment I use for the music and, and my videos in the description as well. I really appreciate you all for stopping by and I can't thank you enough. And we love it when you hit that little like button. And most importantly, my dear friends of the world, you can tune a piano, but you cannot tune a fish.